Hi guys, I'm really super sick and everything feels bad. <sighs> um, alright, so this week, this week we're talking about, um, what book we'd like to live in, and I think that that is a really obvious one for me. I mean, Tom Baker's autobiography, of course, because then I would have been in his life. I'm just saying, think about it. That makes sense, and we'd be married and it'd be lovely. I'm just putting it out there. But... If I had to pick a book other than Who on Earth is Tom Baker? <laughs> I'm not I'm not really sure. And Lindsay, you said that you wouldn't pick the Hunger Games and it was funny because I had been thinking about that in relation to this question a lot. And while it would be kind of terrifying and all because of the seemingly extreme mortality rate. <laughs> um well, it would be kind of terrifying. I think it would be kind of interesting just because it's this whole civilization that's going through like civil unrest and revolutionary thinking and it would just be a very interesting time to be alive in that particular world even though I would probably die. But that's not the book I would choose, oddly enough. I'm between two. Well, one's more of a, a like, well, they're both more like world sort of universe things. Like not the actual books themselves, more like hobos. Um, I came down to Anne Rice's whole world of vampires and whatnot because those are the vampire books I choose to like and read and stuff and I'm not doing a good job of holding this and I would really if I lived in that world I would want to be a vampire because a lot of people die in that like I read a lot of books with death. So I was like looking through a list of my favorite books, and I mean, at the top is Dante's Inferno, and yeah, that's really a book I want to live in. Because that's really super fantastic. Fun times. Anyway, Anne Rice, if I was a vampire, I would want to romp around with Armand, because I think he's pretty fabulous, and it would be pretty grand, and hopefully. I wouldn't die. You know, you never know because in those books a lot of people die. And then I was also considering um, Ringworld and the whole um, Known Space series. And I know, I don't think either of you have read Ringworld and whatnot. But it is one of the best sci-fi books around. It is absolutely a classic. And there are these aliens in it. And they are called the Pearson's Puppeteers. And I think... I find them really funny. But they're like this really cowardly species. And... I don't know. They look really funky. But they're really cool. And I think I would want to live in in that world, and particularly in Ringworld, and go on that little mission to Ringworld and the books that follow, just to meet a, a puppeteer. Because I, I I need to show you a picture of one, but they look really cool, and I would just want to meet a puppeteer. If I I guess if I had to actually live like live as myself in a book I'd, I'd 
be predictable and either be a vampire in Anne Rice, a space traveler in Ringworld, or a hobbit in probably the hobbit because I mean things get a little bit more intense in the Lord of the Rings. Though I would want to go on the adventure with Bilbo. And that, that's like 17 bucks. But I'm okay with that. I, I think I might be seeing both of you tomorrow. I hope so. And... Alright, well, I, I hope I get you both sick if I see you tomorrow at the Scottish Games. Goodbye.